Hi guys, Jen Bloom here, your Gentastic Pampered Chef Consultant. Tonight I am going to try a new recipe. I just bought a new cookbook that I'm super excited about because all the recipes look so good and easy. Uh, it's called the Easy 5 Ingredient Ketogenic Diet Cookbook. Mm -hmm. Amazon, it was like $9.80 with tax. And I'm telling you, almost every recipe I look at I want to try. But this is the first one I'm trying. So I have eight eggs, and to that I'm gonna add one cup heavy whipping cream. That was half a cup. There's my cup. And then I'm just gonna whisk this up. I'm using our glass mixing bowl, which I love these. They come in three sizes. This is the uh, big one. And I bought the stretch silicone silicone stretch fit lids and they fit there's three sizes and they fit each of these bowls perfectly so I've been using those a lot okay I just want to get that mixed up and then it calls for three quarters cup cheese and to put half in now so of course I can't just use three quarters of a cup of cheese so I'm just gonna probably finish off my bag of cheese and this is the Mexican blend if it was Mexican that's usually what I buy so we'll just get that in there. And then a little salt and pepper. A lot of pepper in this. Anything with egg, I like to use a ton of pepper in. And a little bit of pink Himalayan salt. Salt, we're trying to really, I don't usually extra salt things. Um, because a lot of the seasonings have salt in it and then I love Alpine Touch which does have a little salt in it too so that's going to give us kind of a garlicky good flavor give that a good mix and then I'm browning my beef as we speak and we'll continue okay I have my hamburger that I've just been browning I've been using my mix and shop which I love. This is $13, and I'm telling you, you're going to wonder how you live without it if you don't have one already. And if you do have one already, post about how much you love it, because I've never met anyone that didn't absolutely love it. So it's just going to help break up your beef, um, stewed tomatoes. I make guacamole with it. Anything that you want to kind of chop, chop up as you mix it up. Pretty versatile. Get one of those. It fits perfect in the spoon rest. Back there. Um, our spoon rest right there. Put it on the incline. Try this guy. There we go. Uh, so it just fits perfect inside that spoon rest. And I'm using my silicone prep bowl. This is just the big one. Uh, to collect my drippings. I don't really have a good dripping container, um, so these are awesome because they're heat resistant. You can actually bake with it, uh, microwave, anything, and it's super easy to clean up because it's silicone. They come in a three-piece set uh, with a plastic lid. You can't uh, put the lid in the oven, however. Okay, so that's looking good. I'm just waiting on my bacon, which I'm making in the large bar pan. And that has a little bit, if you can see that, look how delicious that looks. So that needs a little bit longer to crisp up. Just going to open my jar of pickles for my cheeseburger casserole. And I'm gonna use our cool handy dandy jar opener. It's got this little riveted um, insert area. So you're just gonna slide that on the jar and then go counterclockwise. Oops, my hands are a little bacon greasy. Um, so just really easy for those real stubborn jars or if you just don't have the grip that you used to. I always just make my husband open all the heavy stuff. Um, but now I don't have to because so I have this. Pretty cool. Okay, my meat's done. I'm just waiting on my bacon a little bit longer because um, I want it really crispy so I can crumble it in. And I could use my... Um, 
stainless steel non-stick skillet, which is what I use to brown my, isn't that pretty, uh, to brown my meat in. Yeah, this can actually go in the oven, so I could do that. However, I just got this large baker, and I've only made bacon in it so far. So I want to get this kind of seasoned up, and this is a great recipe to be able to do that. So I don't know if you're going to be able to see, it's hot how easy to clean that is. So I've just been browning that meat and I got it a little even over um, browned in some, you know, real crispy in some spots because I did, wasn't messing with it. Um, and all I'm gonna do is take this and run it under my hot water and it's gonna come right up. You wanna make sure and dry it right away too. But I'm gonna wait it until my burner uh, cools off. So you don't want to ever put it right under water or anything like that. So now, I have my meat mixture in there, which I doubled, so it was, it called for a pound of ground beef. Normally I would use venison, but I was at the store, so I just got beef, because I didn't want to mess around with uh, defrosting our venison. And uh, then the bacon, once that's done, I'm going to crumble that in, and then we're going to add our egg mixture to it. So, stay tuned. Okay, I'm going to use my jar opener again on these hot peppers. There we go. Easy as pie. And I'm going to use my mix and chop just to kind of break them up. Get a couple in here. My recipe said you could add dip dill pickles. That extra acidity, I guess, is really good because it's such a fatty meal so we love pickles so I added pickles and then also pepperoncinis just taking the stems off okay these are just little baby ones so I'm gonna take right in um, it's not gonna damage any um, surface of anything you use it in which is great because it's nylon so you're just gonna mix and chop and it's gonna mix up those peppers perfectly because we don't want big hunks of pepper in our casserole. So see how easy that is and like I said you can do it right in the, I could have used it in the stainless steel skillet, it wouldn't have damaged the surface. You can actually use metal in that too which is nice and then just mix those up. You can keep going if you want it even smaller. Easy. Okay, my bacon's done, and I just wanted to add a couple more peppers. And then I also wanted to show you that you could also use the salad chopper um, to be able to break the pickles and the peppers up nicely. You just want the scoop facing down. And you can do it right in your pan. It's not going to damage it. And you can get a little bit finer chop. So I'm going to pick up some of the pickle. So like if your family likes the flavor of stuff but they don't like big hunks, you can just really process it down. These are called salad chopper, but um, it's actually, I use it more for uh, shredding chicken, pork, stuff like this, uh, stewed tomatoes, or if you use diced tomatoes and you don't like biting into the tomato, you can chop them up with this. Really easy to use. So a couple different ways you can accomplish it. Okay, my bacon's perfectly cooked on the large bar pan. So I can just use the salad choppers too. I could wait till it um, cools off and crisp up, but I want to get this in the oven. So you can just kind of use these to break them up. Want little crispy pieces all through your meat. I could have cooked it a little crispier too, but there's that fine line with bacon on crispy and burnt. And once it crosses that burnt, burnt plane, no thanks. So see, really easy. You 
you have stuff that's a little thicker, you can just two-hand it. I have um, tendonitis that flares up in my right elbow, so I like to use two hands just to give me a little more oomph. All right, super easy. Finish those. Now it's all broken up in there. Okay, of course I can't just follow one recipe, so I looked up another one in it called for tomato paste. She actually has in this cookbook um, that you can use tomato sauce, but I had looked up one earlier in the day that had tomato paste, and I don't have tomato sauce, but I do have tomato paste, so I'm just adding that to the bowl. I'm using the scoop and spread. Love this thing. But this isn't scoop and spread. I love that one too. Um, I don't know what this one is. This is the whisk. This end, I don't know if you can see that, has this little divot there, and that's what cleans your like your beaters or your whisk. And then this ends like a spatula. I'll look that up and add it. I'm just gonna add this, get the tomato paste incorporated in there, and then I'm gonna pour that onto the beef mixture. Okay, I'm gonna use my small scraper. Just, oops, pour that in there. This scraper really makes it easy to get all the stuff out of there. Plus they're heat safe, so you can, um, you don't have to worry about it melting like plastic or rubber. There's silicone. So just pour that over the whole mixture. I had more meat, so I'm going to make another half batch of the egg mixture and then just add that to it that's too much meat. Okay, so I just uh, basically quadrupled the recipe, so I made another um, double batch of the egg mixture, and now that's perfect, I think. So I'm just gonna finish it off with more cheese. This is the Tillamook triple cheddar Parmes Parmesan style cut. I thought that would be kinda good on it. Just gonna sprinkle that all over. I always like triple and quadruple the cheese amount in recipes. That's probably why I have to do the keto diet because it's the only one you can have a lot of cheese on. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop this in the oven at 350. I love this large baker. I wasn't sure what size um, it was gonna be until I ordered it, I just got it. And it's a really substantial bloom family size, I like to say, because some of the smaller um, stoneware just isn't enough for our big crew that we always feed. So I love this thing. And then it has the enamel covered outside, so it's our stoneware inside, um, but with the ease of the enamel covering, um, but it still cooks, retains the heat like the stoneware. You still don't use soap, um, but the outside's really pretty too, so you can put this right on your dinner table. Okay, here it is. I put it in because I made it so much bigger. Now I'm really gonna feed an army. <laughs> um, and it could even stay in a little longer if you wanted it a little more golden brown, um, but we're starving. So it needs to sit out for about five minutes and then we can cut into this bad boy. I just cut up some avocados, a little tomato. I have in the smallest silicone prep bowl. And uh, I found a couple recipes for keto uh, dressings to go with it, but I just bought this lighthouse. Uh, Thousand Island because it's really good. It tastes really good, um, like good fry sauce. And there's only three grams of carbs for two tablespoons, so that's not too bad. And then I have some um, pickles to garnish it with, sriracha, and good old fashioned mustard. We're trying to stay away from the ketchup, but you can certainly use that too. And for seasonings, I used the garlic and herb rub. And then a little bit of this Dijon mustard rub. I love that. I've been using that on a lot. And I thought with cheeseburger casserole, that'd be perfect. Um, as well as Alpine Touch and lots of salt and pepper. Looks and smells delicious. Okay, here's my husband's portion. I just drizzled a little 
mustard on there, tomatoes, avocado, and look how delicious that looks. For my kitchen gears, have a fantastic night.